so this bottom is actually the top for the mixing and then after that it's just the little divots for the colors so yeah the case is not amazing uh, there are similar price ranges of other palettes that have better casings um, so there's that I did not use this palette case uh, for mixing I used the glass palette I had because um, I want to keep it clean looking especially because like this for mixing is going to be on the outside and I'd rather keep it a little more clean um, this I mean you can only mix three four colors so there's the outside oh it comes in your Amazon packaging I don't know just like this so it could get scratches and all that I'm pretty sure it came like that don't quote me on that Inside, you could still see this one came broken and I just like stuck it back in and added water so it's it's stuck now but it would have fallen out. Here are the swatches of this Mia palette. Um, there's no, uh, what's it called, rub off, I don't know. It's not chalky. And, um, honestly, I am pretty okay with these watercolors. I kind of like them. Uh, <laughs> even though I don't like the packaging. It looks cute, but they should have made it like some kind of magnet or something, but that costs more money. But the two paintings that I did to test this out was this please don't mind the size of his hands maybe he's in a yaoi all right so <laughs> this is the first one i did and i did this one the fifth what's the fifth month i don't know the fifth month on the 24th 2021 so that was a while ago i'm recording this now at on august 4th 21 so I did another painting to retest it, to recollect my thoughts, if you will, and um, I like them, honestly. Uh, I didn't have an issue with them. Again, I must warn this every single time I do a review of any sorts. I am not a professional, nor do I have even experience using professional art supplies. So I'm comparing this to the other cheap brands that I've used and um, liked. So honestly, I like this. It blends well, supposedly. <laughs> um, to me, it blends well. To me, it works the way I want it to work. It mixes well. The only thing I noticed was the granulation. Like in this black, you can't really see it now, I guess, but you could, on camera you probably can't see it, but you could kind of see in the divots that there's like blue, because I mix blue and brown and those colors to make a black, so you could kind of see that. But other than that, I like them. Uh, unfortunately for most cheap brands, there are no pigment information. I do not know if this is very light fast or not light fast. Um, and I don't really understand it enough to test it. So there's that. And my cat is ripping up a paper towel roll so I will have to go clean that up but that is the conclusion of this review uh, they're pretty good I'll put the price on screen and um, yeah that's my conclusion yep all right <laughs>
thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more reviews and whatever I do. I don't know, but they're going to be art related. So there's that. And uh, do you have any other brands you know and want me to review if I have enough money to do so? Comment below, alright? Um, that's it. And, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll put the links in the bot, not bio, the description, maybe. Thank you. Peace.